All right. You know what? Uh, let's, let's hold off on progress for a little bit. I'm feeling kind of sick today. Uh, so we're just going to start a little slow. And then we'll kind of speed things up as we go along. I don't... I don't know. I'm super prone to headaches, and it's been especially bad lately. I don't know if it's the weather, my diet, just my health. I mean, it's Christmas. I always get super sick for Christmas. Uh, did, did any of you guys experience this where it's just like Christmas time uh, rolls around and you just like low-key die? Because that's always been like my experience with the holiday se season. Anytime my family was like, hey, let's go visit the relatives for Christmas, I'd be like, I, do we, I guess. And it would always result in me getting like hellaciously ill on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, or both. I... I can barely remember some of my trips back to, uh... Minnesota for... for the holidays. You know, where my... where my relatives live. Also, these are the guys that are, uh... suffering from the ashen sickness that that one listener dude is really suffering from. Ow, he didn't die. Uh... I was wondering about that. Well, I am nice and durable, and these get- No, why do I have my lantern out? I really would- I almost wish the lantern was a different button entirely. Not that big of a deal. Just kind of annoying sometimes, it's like, randomly pulling it out. Oh well. But no, I don't know. I just- I have- I'm not going to say the worst experiences with the holidays. They're actually pretty, pretty tame, mild, whatever. Uh, but it's not uncommon for me to just get, like, super ill around this time of year. And so, whenever I get, like, kind of sick uh, around Christmas, I'm like, is this a portent of something worse? It might be. I'm all bold. Sometimes it really is. Sometimes it's not so bad. I've been up here. I think this is just how you get back. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, this is just how you get back to the previous zone. Not super necessary for what I'm doing here. Now. There we go. Lantern should just hang on the hip at all times. Only be grabbed by the character's hand when in a dark area. The weapon's put away. Yeah. Oh, we're up in solitude. Oh. Okay. It's serious time. Now, is this the guy that totally... Okay. This is the guy that totally wrecked my AI companion the last time I came through. Doesn't look like he's nearly as strong this time around, which is a good sign. You see, I've wanted to come back here for ages. People have been giving me shit for not going to explore every nook and cranny, regardless of the difficulty, but, like... To that I say, this game has some hard bits here and there, and sometimes it's better to just be mildly cowardly. And I'm, like, waiting for somebody to shout and, like, come running at me, but I think that was just the dude. Alright, so what do we got up here? Oh, feather. I'll take. Gladly. I love the RPG elements in this. I I don't mind them in Dark Souls, but I almost find this kind of more refreshing. Where it's less about like, ah, what what do I put points into? Do I go int build? Do I go whatever? Though then again, I guess it's also a bit of a symptom of the fact that this game doesn't really have alternate builds. It really just has one build. Which is hit people. And hit people with what? Well, that's, that's a little bit more of the build. But they're all kind of similar. So really it was just that one guy and a feather, which... Yeah, okay. I probably could have done this a lot sooner, but oh well. Let's see, do AI companions permadie in this game? No. Uh, in fact, I think actually when they die, it's just on a cooldown uh, before they show back up again. Because in my experience, they fall into their deaths and then like appeared five, ten minutes later. So it's actually pretty forgiving when they come back. Have I found a BAP quest hammer yet? I haven't really found a particularly bappy hammer, which I'm a little bit disappointed about because I'd love to get something appropriate. But oh well. 
Okay. So this is... There's not really much here. I'm gonna head over this direction. See if there's any items, like, hidden in that section. Nope, missed. I really wish you could almost, like, lock on to these statues. Instead. So, okay, so we've got some things up ahead, at the very least. Giant pillar of light at the mountaintop is this journey. R. I actually don't know what that pillar of light is. I think it's just supposed to kind of lead you in a direction. <laughs> Though, considering this game's uh, similarities to Dark Souls, I'm not going to say it's the most uh, original game I've ever played. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I don't mind it. I, I was watching Jim Sterling's review on this game, and he put it pretty well, which is like, this is probably the one of the better Dark Souls clones to... Come on. This is probably one of the best Dark Souls clones to ever come out, and it's like super derivative. Uh, but for me, like, that doesn't matter too much. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna... Well, maybe I can huck, huck one at this dude. Go from there. Nope, missed. Okay. Time for a long shot. Oh, got it in one. Perfect. I don't know. I guess I'm not particularly bothered when games are, like, heavily derivative of other games. As long as it's done well, it doesn't bug me. But I also kind of grew up in a... in the, like, 90s when, like, everything was kind of cloning each other. Like, you had Pokemon, then you had, like, a billion pseudo-Pokemon clones. Interesting. So this is... This is one of the Screamery people. I'd never drawn that connection that they were actually the same. Uh, let's see, do we have any other items around here? I'm sure that we do. I just don't know where to look and what I've missed. I'll just keep wandering aimlessly until we either spot some stuff that I want to go grab, or we get bored looking. So the summary of how to be good Dark Souls clone is just be Dark Souls. I mean, this game does do different things. Not enough that I would say that it stands alone. But, like, if Dark Souls clones become a genre, then I'm fine with that. Uh, you know, when Doom came out, we got a boatload of Doom clones forever. Until the, uh... Until the industry kind of diversified a little bit. And then we ended up with, like, a bunch of Halo clones for a while. And then we ended up with a bunch of... Oh, jeez, how many other clone, clone series have we had? Too many, honestly. We haven't been up there, have we? Can we go up there? I've scuttled around at the bottom, but I've never gone up. I was kind of under the impression that you couldn't, but maybe you can. OG Doom was Wolfenstein clone. Well then, only kind of sort of proves my point. Actually, no, it doesn't look like we can go there at all. Because it's hollow. Remember I... Yeah, there are these dudes here. Hello, person. I don't know if the camera intentionally did that, but it just, like, shifted. Ow. It, like, shifted to look directly at the dude. I bet it... I bet it covertly switches. To angle directly at, like, a nearby enemy if you're walking into a room, perhaps. So the, the light is just coming from up there. Do we have any means of scaling it? Not really, no. It doesn't look like I'm... Oh, no, 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 no. I meant to get in here to some degree. There's an item right there. Oh. We can do an assisted climb here. Perfect. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm just here for this small scoria stash. I... It kind of... No, it doesn't look like we can get up any further. 
That's kind of invisible walled. Do we have anything else here? Because there was a boss in this area. What about anything else? Because this is this is sap. But we're pretty much full up on that, and that's the way down. Okay. Nothing else immediately here. We can go check that one, like, dark area? I'll just keep wandering aimlessly. Uh, let's see. Get out of here, Spearman. Wow, they're... Durable fellows. Whee! I like the pickaxe. I, I still think I want something a little bit more bapish than this. I'll take what I can get, at least for a little while. Okay. Let's see. Because, yeah, we had that, like, whole dark pit almost that I couldn't figure out how to get into. This would be a good time to go check that out. While aimlessly wandering, looking for goodies, secrets, and all sorts of other related things. Okay, she's fine. Cinder's view. I think we went up here. We, we've done that. Hello! Pretty effective, honestly. But honestly, like, would you want to get hit in the face by a pickaxe? I would posit no. Especially if it was, like, a spinning pickaxe. That seems real dangerous. It's got one hell of a wind-up, though. I'll probably have to switch back to shovelry if I actually want to not take damage here. Okay, so what's with this weird pick? Because there's, there's this giant pit over here that we try getting into. Actually, there's a couple of different places. I think this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had that whole area up there. Maybe we have somebody that I can warp to. Because there's something up here. But I couldn't figure it... Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the ability to warp up now. What were you doing? This guy just, like, kind of... wasn't paying attention? I'm not gonna complain. Okay, so we have... What angle do I need? There we go. Okay, so we've got more of the horror spiders. Want nothing to do with that. A lot of large scoria stashes in here. Was this it? Oh. Huh. Yeah, it was just it was just this, so the rest of this place is actually harder to get. How the deuce? I don't see any warp points. How the heck are you even supposed to get to half of these places? Because I don't see a way up in here. I was assuming that I'd be able to warp to this and... Huh. How the heck am I supposed to get to half of these? I feel like either I'm supposed to do some hella climbing I mean, maybe we can do an assisted climb here? Oh, yep. So we can. Let's see. There's a shovel, and it's on your hometown, by the way. Wait. Like, is there a different shovel than the one I'm using? Like, is there a two-handed shovel? That's really the question I, I would like answered. Because if I can have a one-handed shovel and a two-handed shovel, then I am in business.
Okay, so we've gotten up. I, uh, how do, how do the... It really does look like I'm supposed to come from up and over. Maybe, maybe we can get up there. Or maybe, maybe I have to do tricks. This doesn't really seem... No. No, that is that is too much of a trick. Yeah, so we'll go up this direction. And you'd have a three-handed shovel. Dude, if I could get a three-handed shovel, I'd go find a third hand. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna lie. I would absolutely... Uh, go out of my way for... For the, uh... What was it? The, the dry Einzfei dry dry hander, uh, but the dry hander with the with the shovel would be, I I would like that. I would enjoy that greatly. Okay, so this is how we're supposed to get into the darkened pit area. So wow, yeah, I guess I could have gotten gotten through this whole area a long time ago. Okay. Oh, I'm out of juice. But they're also, like, much weaker than me. This would be much more of a concern if I wasn't, like, grossly overpowered uh, for this area at this point. Okay, so the giant pit area that more or less was con- a grit. Hello. Yeah, the giant pit area that was confounding me for ages, I think this is kind of how we get access to it. Or... At least get a good look at it. I bet this is a later game area. You need to be a Thrykreen to wield it. Man, I always wanted to play a Thrykreen character in D&D, but... Every time... Every time I tried, uh, the DM would be like, No, we're only going with basic races. And I'd be like, No! My Mantis murder man! How will I survive? Okay, right. We had we have stuff to look for. Gotta love the music in this game. Is there anything in here? No, rock. Looks like there's stuff up too. Yeah. There we go. But I got stuck on it for a bit. I do hope we find some like cool actual useful items as opposed to just money. I don't mind money, but it's less it it's less exciting than like a new shovel or some cool clothing. Oh, so be it. Oops. Nope, we got it. Alright. Uh yeah, there's at least several items in this immediate area that I should probably grab before I go too far. I think there is, yeah, item in here. A lot of money. Well, at least I'll be able to upgrade all my junk. Ooh, feather. Okay, good. I can get back. I didn't want to have to slide all the way down the hill just to get back to where I where I am. Whee! Jumping in this game feels real good. Jumping in Dark Souls never felt particularly good. But in this, it feels just right. Okay, so let's go up. I know there's an item over there, but getting that means I have to kind of reset the whole climb. And we've got, like, a, s a small billion of things. Well, thank you. Grab nothing else. Broken Stone Club. Still not quite Pap Quest. It's getting there. Okay. Now... I remember there's an item over... Yeah, there's an item over there on the left. A couple of items that I can see in that area. 
I'm so glad you can actually see them from a distance. Let's go up. Because I bet there's a little bit more up. Did I think it up? No. Oh. Remember hearing of a campaign where someone convinced their DM to let them be a fetchling? By his secret plans to immediately transport the whole party to the Shadow Realm for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> I I love D&D. I love the like weird garbage that you can do if you're gung-ho enough to do it and the DM's down for it. Unfortunately, there's also a lot of D&D campaigns where they're, where like certain party members are just utter utter garbage and you're like, "I I would like to do a thing." And they're like, Rule books. There we go. I'm getting pretty good at that, actually. Okay. So I might fall to my death here. Oh, worse things have happened. Hmm. All right. I'm getting the very distinct feeling there ain't anything up here. Oh well. <laughs> I feel like a mountain goat. Yeah, I don't see anything else up in this upper area. Oh, I guess that makes this easier. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get up here, but I'm really glad that I have the ability to do so regardless. Whoop, 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 whoop. That was a bad jump. Oh, it's fine. It actually got me exactly where I want to go. Is this just a dead end? This is just a dead end. All right. Onwards! I miss playing d and I... I'll probably put together some kind of campaign... Uh... Next year. I don't really have any promises on how it's going to work out. Just that I'd like to do it. Let's see. Hello. Whoops. I should probably actually, you know, dodge, take this semi-seriously. Doggos are dodgy. They're not even really intending to dodge. They just kind of get out of your way. And it's like, no, 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 no. Come back here so I can smack you. Okay, so we had items. There's nothing there, but there's items over over here that we need to warp to. I get the sinking feeling it's mostly just going to be money, but you know what? Whatever. Money's helpful. Do you wonder if you ever tried an aquatic campaign? N yes! Uh, one of the first campaigns I ever did as a kid uh, involved a fair bit of water, uh, but we were also like... I want to say 12 or younger. Like it was somewhere between the ages of 11 and 13 that I played like a boatload of D&D as a kid. And we were, uh, I'm not going to say cheating, but like there was definitely stuff like, what was it? I think I was like singing the Batman theme song, like the dun 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 Batman. Uh, and this is like, a bunch of 12-year-olds, and apparently that was a valid tactic for confusing your enemies. Uh, using ventriloquism or some garbage. I, I, to some degree, I miss the childlike wonder that it resulted in that sort of thing. And I also realized that, as an adult, that sort of tactic would require a fair bit more effort to actually pull off. There was an item up here. I guess technically I knew. Okay, where's the last one? I think it's probably just that item over there. Wow, almost got it. There we go. The animation when we're like twitching left and right kind of bothers me a bit. Also, it looks like there's a couple of items that I missed. Ah, uh, uh, I just came from there. I mean, it's worth it, but yeah, how do 
How do we even get to some of those? I don't even know. Cause yeah, I see I see two items in those windows. I guess I'll go back for them. I I kinda I don't wanna say I don't have anything better to do. I totally do. I could actually be working on progressing. But at the same time, like, this is actually proving to be fairly rewarding. We found, like, somewhere near 50,000 scoria just by exploring like this. I wonder if this game's gonna have an equivalent to Sen's Fortress. I guess we'll find out when somebody tells me. Or when we find out horribly. Hello! I wonder if there's a difference between roll speeds in this game, like fat rolls and whatnot. Probably. Oh. You attempted something, and you failed, Ashen Man! Okay. So, we want to get up on the right side, and we've got to look for, like, open doorways and a couple other bits. There we go. Unlock to death! Really effective. I love the staggering in this game. What other Souls-like was I playing recently that had, had like, no stagger and it was awful? I don't... I don't know, actually. If you have some fat heavy armor, you could test fat rolling. They don't really give you options. They just kind of give you progressively new newer types of armor. Mining for doofuses. Oops. Oh, the shovel for this one. If it sounds like I'm a bit stuffed up today, I I am. I am. I I guess I'm sick. I don't feel terribly sick, but my nose is all runny and I don't like it. We might have to take sneeze breaks. I don't like sneeze breaks, especially because it makes me fat, sound more snuffy than not. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's like the weird bandito dudes. Okay. So now here's the hard part. We have items somewhere on this structure that I've missed. Uh... Oh, right here. No. Not right here. Yes, right here. So there's no fashion souls in this game? Yeah. I wish. I wish there was fashion souls. I don't know, I'm I'm a big fan of fashion souls. Just finding like uh well, I guess an easy example would be like Popat. And uh just committing to it for way longer than I have any reason to do so. And yes, it was Darksiders 3. You're correct. Speaking of, they released a uh they released a patch specifically for Darksiders. Uh, three recently, rebalancing the combat to be more like Darksiders. Uh, oh yeah, there's the item. How the devil do I get there? Whoops. Whoop, 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 and I'm dead. That's unfortunate. Whatever, I can get back. Uh, let's see. But yeah, they released a new patch that actually turns the combat much closer to Darksiders 1 and, and 2. And I'm not terribly interested in going back and playing Darksiders, to be totally honest. But, uh... It's like, I wanted, I wanted to load it up just to see, like, how much it has changed since the last time I played. Okay, so I died... Oh, you can even see my Scoria there. Whoops. The Atlas launch is gonna be so bad. Is that tonight at midnight? Or is that going to be sometime tomorrow? Because I wouldn't mind just throwing myself in on the Atlas launch just to see how bad it goes. For those of you that don't know, Atlas is the new game by the people that made Ark. 
and it has been delayed like three or four times since uh, since it got announced like three weeks ago. Okay, so the the servers are up. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it downloaded then. Nor do I care too much. My problem is ultimately, I don't like Ark that much, and I'm not sure if I care for Atlas, and it seems like it's going to be a giant mess. It's already a shit show. Yeah, I figured... I mean... I... I feel like with a game like Atlas, especially after losing so much goodwill over the course of Ark, uh, here and there, I feel like Atlas is either going to be criminally bad, or, like, so broken that it's going to be Fallout 76 all over again. At least, maybe without the egregious cash shop and canvas bag issue. I have, I have a pretty low opinion of pseudo MMOs right now. There's not, there have not been a whole lot, lot of good ones. Like, Fallout 76 could have been great, but it was lacking, like, any amount of proper QA and limited feedback. WoW's latest expansion has some problems. Uh... I, honestly, like... I, I've heard decent things from Destiny 2 now, but I'm, like, leery to go back because I feel like I'm just gonna hype myself up for... Destiny 3 and then find out that, uh... Then find out that it's going to be, you know... Garbage again? I don't know. I... I want MMOs to be good. I want MMOs, honestly, to just be, like, small, actually. Like, I want to play an MMO that's just this, but with, like, you know, kind of the traditional... Uh, MMO Trinity. Healer, tank, uh, DPS. You know, maybe you have a four-man group. One healer, one tank, two DPS. And you, maybe you can switch it around depending on things. Uh, and you just kind of go through a, a pseudo Souls-like game. Uh, dungeon crawler, cooperative, and so on and so forth. And... Like, man, that would be good. See, it doesn't look good for Anthem either, does it? I've heard decent things about Anthem, but... I mean... I don't know. It could go real bad. I guess I'm, I'm reserving my opinions until I've properly played Anthem. I will admit my opinions might be a little bit, like, stunted, because I actually liked, uh... I actually like Fallout 76. Hell, I still like Fallout 76 to some degree. Uh, let's see. My main problem is just the business side of Fallout 76 makes it look doomed. Oh, okay. I think I see how I'm supposed to get up here. Yeah, this is how I'm supposed to get to this item. Finally! But yeah, I'll probably buy Anthem. I'll probably buy two copies for Anthem. One for me, one for Shell. And if it turns out that at Anthem is a crap fest, then I'll let you know. Uh, or at least, I mean, I'll probably stream the whole thing, to be totally honest, and just be like, Well, it's a crap fest. Or it's not. Why did I do this? Actually, this worked out really well. Thank you for the assist, co-op friend. 